federal investigators revealing more about a major drug trafficking bust tied to an FBI raid at an Aventura mansion. And the alleged ringleader is a former Olympian now on the run and accused of murder. And Local 10's Cody Butter live now in Aventura with the details for us tonight. Cody. And Calvin and Nicole, the feds describing the drug empire this former Olympian ran as ruthless, murdering anybody who got in their way. An early Wednesday morning FBI raid in Aventura ended with the arrest of music executive Nahim Jorge Bonilla. According to the FBI, Bonilla had bought several kilos of cocaine from this man, Ryan Wedding, a former Olympic snowboarder turned drug kingpin. Cultivated a violent transnational drug trafficking empire. Federal law enforcement releasing details about the sophisticated drug running network on Thursday. After 13 years in operation, the group was shipping in 60 tons of cocaine per year to the U.S. It was a billion dollar criminal enterprise which he ran with his partner, Clark, from Mexico. That enterprise described as ruthless and violent. Orchestrating multiple homicides to eliminate their rivals. The drugs first purchased in Colombia. They would then transport the cocaine into Mexico and then into the United States using long haul semi trucks. The Fed saying the drug network would eliminate anyone who crossed them. The group threatened Bonilla, the man in Aventura, that they would kill his mother due to an outstanding debt. In another incident, the group murdered a Canadian couple by mistake. This was a case of mistaken identity. Wedding and Clark believed these individuals were responsible for a lost cocaine shipment, but they weren't. They had no known connection to Wedding, Clark, or the other people in the operation, but that didn't matter. They were killed in cold blood in front of their daughter. And their daughter was ultimately shot 13 times, but ultimately survived. Ryan Wedding, meanwhile, remains on the run. 16 people facing charges in relation to this, and arrests have been made in Mexico, Colombia, the U.S., and Canada. We're live in Aventura tonight. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.